Hey, what's up guys, it's Torge Pro here. And I wanna share with you how you can use a laptop as a second display monitor. Well, you might be asking right now, why would you even use a laptop as a second display monitor? Now, this scenario is a case-to-case -case base only. Because if you have an extra monitor out there, then use it to extend your display if you want to have dual monitor. But what if you do not have, and for this moment only, you want to extend that one to make you more productive because nobody's using that laptop? That kind of scenario, okay? Not only on laptops, you can do this one with PCs. Another scenario here that we can see is when you have a PC that's a little bit further away from you, that has a bigger screen, you can extend your display or duplicate your display there projecting what you have on your laptop. And just for fun guys, if your friends and workmate doesn't know about this, you can trick them in extending your display to their laptop or to their PC. Let's start by configuring my laptop here. This is where we're going to extend my display. So this will be the second monitor. So first of all, you need to make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So there are several things you can access the settings. You can go ahead and press the Windows key button plus the P button. Now select this connect to wireless display. Then it will take you here. Go for that find other display devices. On this page, here on the right side, you can see display settings click on that and it will take you here the other way you can access this one is on the search menu type in settings then click settings then go for system then you will have the same page now the next thing we're looking for is this projecting to this pc because we're going to project here now if it's your first time to set this one up these options are disabled so we need to add some features first click on optional features then add a feature now there are a lot of features here so just go ahead and type in wireless so that it will filter out and then this wireless display will be filtered out check this one then install this will take around 90 seconds so we need to wait for that this will install the feature now it's installed, let's go back. Then these are the settings that you can work with. So it is a self-explanatory options here. I'll just click on available everywhere so that it's easier for us to do it. Well, it's up to you if you want to select the other one. Here below, it says every time a connection is requested. So that's what I'm going to choose. And if you want to have more security, you can set a pin but i'm not going to do that since i'm just the only one here so this option here it's up to you if you want to turn it off or turn it on because it simply says that if the charger is not plugged in then no one's going to connect to the laptop because maybe it go it's going to run low battery then the display will be cut off so this will be our main laptop that's going to project the display to the first laptop that we just configured so the same here like projecting to a projector, press the Windows button plus P. Then you will have the option connect to a wireless display. And you can see right away my PC right here. So I'll just click that and it's going to connect. It's going to request that notify this second laptop that we have here. So I'll need to say, okay, then it will connect. There you go. I'll just put my camera on an angle so that we can see the effect. All right. As you can see, it is duplicated to the other laptop. But in most cases, if we want to have a second monitor, um, we want to extend. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just go ahead and Windows P again. Change this one to extended extended press enter all right okay so let's try to drag this web browser to the other side or my second monitor okay so i'll just click this one then drag it okay there you go 
it works like a second monitor and as you can see there's a bit of a delay because we're a little bit further away from the wi-fi router so i'm kind of in my room right now anyways this would be a very great help in some case scenarios so i'll just disconnect then you can see that it's going to be disconnected then we're cut down i hope this video has been informative for you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel help me make a dream of a hundred thousand subscribers see you in my next video